You might be surprised to learn this. Earth actually cycles through three distinct types of years. The year we usually refer to. The time it takes for one celestial body revolving around another. For example, the moon's year is the time it takes for the moon to orbit the Earth, which is about a month. However, even if we stand still on Earth, there are still three different ways to calculate the length of a year. The first method is to observe the angle between Earth's tilted axis and the Sun. When this angle is the same again, we say the Earth has completed a tropical year. The second method is to look at the positions of the stars and the Sun. When we see the same stars again, rising again behind the Sun, we say the Earth has completed a sidereal year. The third method is to observe Earth's orbital path. As the end of the year is approaching, because the Earth moves along an elliptical orbit, and this elliptical orbit is constantly in precession. By measuring the times when the Earth is closest to the Sun twice, we can calculate the duration of a year for the Earth. At this point, we say the Earth has gone through an anomalistic year. However, although these three different types of Earth years have different lengths, they all consist of 365 days. The calendar we use daily is based on the tropical year, which measures the angle between the Earth's tilted axis and the Sun. Besides, because the angle between the Earth's tilted axis and the Sun is the same again, this happens to take exactly one year. More importantly, the Earth's tilted axis also determines the change of the four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter.